The UN Mapping Report has published a list of 85 world's multinationals that exploit or are in dealing connections with the bloody minerals from the DR Congo conflict zone. Now, Belgium has 16 companies at the top of the list. 13 companies are from South Africa, 11 companies are from UK, 9 companies are Americans, 5 are Canadians, the Germans have 3 companies in the Eastern Congo, and the French have only one company. We have also several other countries that are listed, including 3 companies from the DR Congo itself, from Zimbabwe, Ghana, China, Thailand, Malaysia, we have Kazakhstan, and we have also the St. Kitts Island where we usually know that the bad boys go and put their money in. And that's what we call the island of uh, the rich folks or the safe haven. And we have also the island of Bermuda. These are the countries that are among those who are exploiting or are in direct dealing connections with the bloody mineral in the eastern Congo. I'm going to just cite a few of them. The first one is the African Trading Corporation from South Africa. We have Afrimax from United Kingdom. We have Alex Stewart LTD from United Kingdom. Anglo American from United Kingdom. We have America Mineral Fields from the United States of America. And then also the Boston based Massachusetts company called Cobalt that had been exploding mine in Kivu and they denied it. But the list came right here and showing that they are part of it. We have also a country uh, like Ghana, who has uh, a company named Ashanti Goldfield. We have Carson Products from South Africa, Dara Forest from Thailand, Ecogym from Belgium, The Beers from United Kingdom. So these are the companies that are working very hard to make sure that every day they come down in DC and lobby so that the United States of America and all the institutions around the world, all the parliaments around the world, do not stand up firm about the Congolese file. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know about this list because it's actually running at the bottom of the screen. I want you to really pay attention to all these names. On the next show, I'm going to have a guest from Washington, D.C. He's a long-time activist who played a role from United States campuses talking to children all the way to the Capitol Hill. He's a man who has actually been working hard to make sure that he breaks the silence on whatever is happening in the DR Congo. I will have him by phone from Washington DC on our studio and he will talk about these multinationals and the way they operate. As you can see, we have those companies, 85, and that can explain the reason why the Congo's file has been really taking time to get a result. Your comments and insights to our show is welcomed. Send them to franklin at cbnext.com. And in closing this first edition of the Next News Review, I will leave you with the tip of the day. Did you know that for those traveling from the DR Congo to Dallas Fort Worth, for example, the shortest trip between Dallas and Kinshasa is operated by K airline. Well, I want to tell you, the Dutch airlines have only a flight that will spend 10,548 miles between the two cities. Now, this is not the cheapest flight. The cheapest flight is the one by American Airlines, and it costs $1,703. That's by American Airlines. So, those are the facts that we got from faircompare.com and uh, do not forget if you want to tune in with us we're coming back next time we're going to be on the show with good guests so do not miss out be, be told with cbnext.com this concludes our first edition of the next news review on cbnext live I'm Franklin Katana live from our studio in Dallas, Texas thanks for watching